A number of businesses have told BBC London that they're paying for protection to protect them from shoplifters because the Metropolitan Police often don't turn up to investigate. So security firms are stepping in to offer a form of private policing where they can even use handcuffs on suspects. Well, an area of Clapham Junction is the latest to take matters into their own hands and our Home Affairs correspondent Sonia Jessup has been to see how it works. Patrolling their local beat. But Vitor and Nate here are clearly not met police officers. They're private bobbies paid for by businesses in Clapham Junction who are worried about shoplifting. Hello, hello. How are you doing? It's obviously scary. It's not nice for a business, especially recovering post-COVID. You normally find it's usually a few people coming in at the same time, somebody trying to make a little bit of a hustle, bustle, distraction. She shows us the WhatsApp group where stores now report shoplifting. Many claim when they have called police, they don't always respond. I understand that there probably are bigger crimes happening elsewhere and the Met is stretched, etc. However, yeah, I mean, you would like to have a some sort of a response, have somebody held accountable. It's why the Business Improvement District here, representing around 400 firms, decided to pay for private patrols. Before the pandemic, um, you would, you would, we had regular policemen who were always the same people, you know, you'd spot them and, and, and they were regularly around the area. Post-pandemic, they literally disappeared overnight. There's a general awareness now that the police don't exist um, in the public domain in the resources that they used to. I think there's also an awareness that the police are very much tied up with increasing bureaucracy. The Met Police says it's not a new development for businesses to employ private security firms and it works closely with them. Across London, shoplifting has risen by 21% in the last year, though some people believe that figure could be far higher because not all offences are being reported. But is paying for a service traditionally provided by the police a good idea? It does bring up a lot of questions between, you know, private and public um, security and I imagine that that might also be scary for some people. I guess it's a worry in that you know that if we don't think the police that you know our taxes fund that um, can cope with something that shouldn't be a major issue. I think it depends on the individuals they recruit. I think certain individuals need to be vetted when it comes to positions of authority and if you are not careful enough and you are not filtering a specific kind of person then it, things can go wrong. The team here say the bobbies are thoroughly vetted and mainly provide a visible deterrent. But they sometimes make a citizen's arrest and they can use handcuffs. It can only take place once the appropriate authentic training has been, been put in place and is, is properly evidenced and available. The Met Commissioner has promised to rebuild neighbourhood policing, but businesses here can't wait. They say paying for protection is the only alternative. Sonia... Firms are employing uh, security firms like this, it must be hugely embarrassing for the police uh, whose job it is to do this. Well, if we look back to the Casey review, that damning report into the Met Police that came out earlier this year, Baroness Casey says that London no longer has a functioning neighbourhood police service. Officers who don't have the resources or the support they need to actually serve the public. Now, the Commissioner, Sir Mark Rowley, says that rebuilding those frontline services are key to rebuilding trust. And he's promised more officers on the streets. Uh, he's hiring more police community support officers. He wants more community engagement. The the question is when businesses like the ones we spoke to will actually see that difference. And something else in the news today is the controversial stop and search powers. Uh, the Home Secretary says she wants to see more of it. That's right. Suella Braverman has written to all police forces saying that she wants to see stop and search ramped up to get dangerous weapons off the streets. But of course, it's a controversial issue here in London. You are three and a half times more likely to be stopped and searched by police if you are black than if you are white. Now, the commissioner told me, though, earlier this year that he believes that stop and search is a valuable tool. But he told me that if it's done badly, it can burn through trust. Mm. And today, the Mets told me that they're taking a new, more more precise approach in two London boroughs. They're going to be trialling out, they say, using data to target the areas with the highest uh, crime and more training, they say, more engagement with the local community. There's very little detail on this right now, but we will find out more and keep everyone updated. Yeah, let's see what happens. Home Affairs correspondent Sonia Jessup, thank you.